They be like, what it be like? Like, you already know what it is. It's your boy, Calvin Light, my way. Coming to you with that daily encouragement. Chill. Hey, uh, I really just want to make this quick video. Uh, I meant to do it for my brother. He had posted a meme that uh, kind of caused a little bit of confusion. And uh, I said I was going to make a video uh, addressing the issue. But what I did, I initially uh, put together a Skype Bible study. And in the Skype Bible study, we went over the meme, went over the scriptures. And we brought forth clarity and uh, you know to to, to uh, the actual issue and that's the topic of today's message uh, for all my believers out there uh, for you that, that, that believe that the Word of God is the Word of God uh, and that the whole Bible is applicable and that uh, you know you believe in the scriptures so thus whenever you see scripture mean Memes in which people uh, translate or try to explain or that like this in particular mean plant seeds of confusion. Uh, what we all must remember is context, context, and context. Uh, just like with uh, political parties and uh, you know this election type deal, people are cut up and give you a sound bite and whenever you get a, a sound bite you can take a sentence oh excuse me oh well you can take a sentence that someone says it may say you know uh, I, I, I'm an avid supporter of guns but I believe that uh, you know there shouldn't be no one should be able to uh, walk into a school with a gun yeah. now Someone would take that statement, chop and screw it, and say, have that same statement that I just made, and come out with, I don't think there should be no guns. Just by cutting and distorting the, the wordage and omitting what, you know, uh, it does it uh, adhere to their viewpoint. The same thing is done with scripture all the time. Individuals will be quick to quote of scripture uh, I can do all things in Christ and strengthen me but uh, won't, won't look at the context of the scripture um, you know but that's the point if you are an avid believer if you believe in the word of God even a little bit if you've been raised a certain way and uh, you only really believe based off of what mom and dad or grandma told you uh, then I tell you you should uh, question your faith because your faith is uh not true faith it's not uh adhered in the word of god it's not he adhered in a relationship that you have with our savior um, or, or or anything that you've been open to or revealed to you by the holy spirit because you have no idea what the holy spirit is you've never experienced god uh face to face a uh, spirit to spirit uh person to person or a uh, man to word if you're not reading the scriptures so context 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 when someone quotes the scripture go back check that scripture out if i put up a scripture go back and look at this whole chapter if a person says yeah the bible says say uh where i uh, get the reference points so that you can always go back go back go back and check their sources if you don't check the sources you are being a slave uh, initially to their opinions or their ide ideologies or their belief system and that's what you don't want to be you want to be uh, fluid in the word of God just like you speak uh, a certain language you were born into a language but you had to learn uh, the ins and outs of the language you had to learn about adjectives verbs uh, subjects nouns pronouns you know without those uh, uh, that, that, that inherent knowledge or growth in knowledge you wouldn't be able to read. You may be able to communicate on a uh, elementary uh, level, but you would not be able to uh, articulate yourself or your thoughts in a way that uh, can penetrate mind, heart, body, soul, and spirit. Uh, thus, context, context, context. And by all means, do not get your theology, your doctrine, your, uh, your, 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 your uh, root in God from Facebook memes or Instagram memes, Pinterest memes, 
pretty much the internet okay let your uh, true revelation adhere from the revealing of the Holy Spirit and we will be doing our next Skype uh, this this coming week uh, Wednesday around 5 o'clock uh, today is the 8th so that will be the 10th so if you're interested and you want to you know catch us online uh, just simply comment below with your Skype name and I add you to to the con to the call simple as that uh, we believe in the whole scripture we don't I'm not gonna get up here and try to teach you in a, in a sense to where I'm saying that I have it absolutely figured out myself but I do have a grasp on the Word of God and we have discussions but we do not argue over doctrine we do not argue over uh, theology or beliefs we allow the scriptures to interpret themselves uh till next time stay blessed be encouraged and realize that when somebody posts a scripture for all sakes go back and read the whole chapter you know just read the whole chapter and sometimes you got to read the chapter before that or the chapter that comes after because you want to know the context you gotta know the context it's like uh now there's tobacco out here in this field. I'm just passing by. Now, if I said uh, in the middle of December, but I didn't say it was the middle of December, right? But I say, oh my God, there's no way that tobacco ever grows out here. And I omit out the fact that it may be the middle of December. Then you may be confused. Wow, why can't? tobacco grow out there is it, is it is the land barren why can't corn grow out there oh I forgot to tell you the context in which I'm saying this is because it's December <laughs> but uh you know that's that's just a small example realize context changes everything um, and, and remember that you gotta you gotta look at scripture from the perspective of the time in which it was wrote. Uh, yes, God can use uh, scripture uh, from past times that are so relevant now to the now. Um, but in many cases, you still to get a to get an understanding of what's being said or the point of view in which it's being said. Uh, you really got to understand the. Uh, the time period who's saying it who, who's the who's the subject who's talking to who because without that you bring forth confusion till next time God bless stay encouraged seek truth seek God keep growing till next time God bless chill